Right, I'm in the uh, sleepy town of Lot Bari in Thailand. And uh, you can ask any Thai person what they think of Lot Bari, and one animal will come to mind, and that's monkeys. Lot Bari is Thailand's monkey town. See if I can walk past here without getting assault assaulted by a monkey. <laughs> Let's try and uh, oh, these monkeys are okay. They don't seem too aggressive. This is the uh, one of the big temples straight ahead of me. He seems all right. You're not shy, are you? You're not aggressive, are you? No, I don't believe a word of it. These monkeys aren't aggressive. But if I stood in his tail, it'd get aggressive, wouldn't you? If I stood on your tail, you'd be very aggressive. There's a lot more uh, opposite there. That little park there, there's a lot of monkeys. Oh monkey, you're not aggressive are you? You're not going to jump on me. Oh look at that little baby monkey there. You're <laughs> he's thinking, he's thinking. Thinking aren't you? Fight or flight. Fright. Fight or flight. Oh, look at these two cuddling each other. <laughs> All right, monkey. Oh, hang on. I don't like the look. He's making a funny uh, motion with his mouth. I'm moving away from that one. Right, this is the uh, monkey temple straight ahead. Cross over the road. over the road and visit the uh, monkey temple. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Right, carry on walking. Uh, I'm just going to cross this busy road. Look at all the monkeys down here. Monkeys everywhere. Oh, blimmin' heck! Flippin' heck! Flippin' loads of monkeys down here. Jeez, I've never seen so many. Serious number of monkeys down here. Don't want to get attacked. <laughs> blimmin' heck! Just loads of them. Flippin' heck! Never seen so many. That's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. Oh, look at that little one carrying his little baby. It's a massive monkey colony here. Absolutely huge. How many monkeys are here, monkeys? Must be at least a hundred monkeys here. We they're quite um, let me find the right words. They're quite streetwise. They're not. Uh, they realise there's no point being aggressive unless you need to be aggressive with a human. So at the moment, because um, I haven't got any food on me, I've just got a cup of coffee. They, they seem very well behaved, but it's. Uh, when you bring bring out some food, if I but if I brought some food out of my rucksack, which luckily I haven't got any on me, they'd go absolutely mental. So 
something's going on. There's a fight breaking out. Two monkeys fighting. And um, they seem to be quite peace loving. Monkeys are peace loving creatures really, I suppose, like humans, they don't like fights. They'd rather they didn't fight with each other, aren't you? You'd rather you didn't fight with each other, don't you, monkeys? So you uh, get really alarmed when fellow monkeys are fighting, but sometimes it's necessary to establish dominance in the group. I get quite close to this monkey. He, he's sort of, um, he's sort of tensing up a bit, and, but he's not too bad. He's all right with it. All right, monkey, I'm only friendly. No, oh, no, 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 no. You see, he gets that. Uh, if you get too close, you can see he makes that with his teeth. Opens his teeth, and you just have to step away. For goodness' sake, don't uh, intimidate him. <laughs> Do not want to go to the vets with their suspected rabies or whatever. Very nice monkey, very nice. Very nice monkeys indeed. This is a little monkey here. Oh, don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. If I hurt you, there'd be about 100 monkeys jumping on top of me. I wouldn't get away with it, and I wouldn't wanna do it anyway. Let me just put my coffee up here a minute. Coffee here, no, 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 no food. No, it's not, no. It's not food. Can't, but we're gonna walk out of this group of monkeys. Need to come here without my rucksack. Look at that little monkey there. <laughs> Crazy. You got fleas? Are you itching because you got fleas? monkeys down here it's absolutely crazy monkey town Lockbury monkey town serious number of monkeys hello don't bite me. Don't be nasty. So look at this uh, place here. It's got cage. It's behind cage doors. They don't want monkeys coming in the uh, commercial premises. Supposed to visit the temples to visit the monkeys, but there seem to be enough monkeys uh, just around the streets. Hello monkey. Wow we what a place. What a place. Lotbury. Thailand's monkey town. Look at him. <laughs> having a good think about me. You having a good think? Temple over there. This is a, this is this is going to be an issue, I think, with the rucksack. I'm not sure. I wonder if he wants to take my rucksack in there. So I'm going to go back to the hotel and dump my rucksack because that's going to be a problem. I think I've got a rucksack on. I think they're going to uh, jump up and then start ripping the rucksack apart. So go back to the hotel. I think. 
get rid of this rucksack and then carry on filming the monkeys. Right, I'm just walking back to the hotel. Guess what? I've seen some more monkeys. <laughs> seen some more monkeys what a surprise didn't expect that now what are you doing monkeys what are you doing hey what are you doing oh. hey Walk. stay back stay back I don't like that aggression <laughs> Let me eat my bananas in peace. Leave me alone. That's what the monkey's saying. All right, we carry on walking. We carry on walking. What in truck? It's fair to say monkeys are like a group of monkeys like a group of human beings. You've got some right mardy ones. Um, you've got some friendly ones. It's a huge range of different characteristics and personalities. It's a huge range. Right, head back to the hotel anyway. Get rid of this rucksack and I don't, won't feel so uh, scared and intimidated by them, hopefully. Crossing the road, streetwise monkey. What intra Indra? All right, monkey, I just want to read this sign so you're in my way at the moment. I want to walk up to this sign. Just read about what, what intra. What intra. So every year there's a big monkey festival here where they celebrate the monkeys and then it goes uh, ballistic. They put, bring loads of food outside the temples for the monkeys. Um, which, is, which is okay, I suppose, but, <laughs> all right. Which is okay, I suppose, but the problem is that because there's a monkey festival, uh, lots of people here as well at the moment. It's not too, uh, not too many tourists here at the moment. Right, that's where I'm staying in the uh, Net Hotel. Oh, it's actually raining. It's the first time I've experienced rain in Thailand since I've been here in three weeks. Um, I've changed my geographical location quite significantly, so that might have something to do with it. I'm um, about 200, getting on for 200 miles north of Pattaya. Um, so I've come from a lot further inland. That might be some reason behind the changing climate, slight change in uh, climate. It's a Thai KFC. Thai KFC. Um, that's the contents. 149 bar. Two original bits of chicken, two spicy bits of chicken, uh, some chips and a custard tart and free refill. Yeah in uh, the Lopbury Central KFC. Right, so um, yeah, I'm just going to have a walk around uh, Lopbury now. Oh, there's a monkey there. Can you see on top of that sign, that road sign there, there's a monkey just climbing down now. There seem to be uh, quite a few places. Typical uh, dodgy uh, pavement here. Look at this. You're coming along here late at night. You don't see that. That's a uh, 
definite hazard which wouldn't be allowed in the UK. No way on earth with the UK. Uh, there'd be just loads of people abusing the system there, saying they've tripped up even though they didn't, and some people that would trip up and uh, get insurance claims. So that would be uh, definitely sealed off in the UK. It wouldn't be left like that. And uh, I don't think you'd find a car on the road in this state either, in the UK. That's uh, quite a dilapidated car. I don't think that would be allowed to be just left in the street in that condition. In most places. Most places. And what's this monkey doing here? Lovely, nice new pickup truck. Hope he's not going to do anything naughty yet. Yeah to it, like scratch it or what are you doing in that pickup truck eh? Why are you in a pickup truck? What are you doing? Found something to eat. Hmm. Do not feed the monkeys. Well wow. They must be getting fed from somewhere, because there's a lot of them. Look at that one on, uh, you can see the one, there's one on top of a telegraph wire there, an electricity cable. Another one climbing up. Monkey on a telegraph cable, being naughty. Right, train barriers are down. They're just waiting for a train now. Just waiting for the train, as are the monkeys. Just love looking at these uh, monkeys here. They're just on the barriers. Don't seem to give two monkeys about, oh, that's a good saying, isn't it? Don't give two monkeys about the train coming. Okay, I'm backing away. Don't look aggressive at me. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, here comes the train. That monkey stuck. When they start showing their teeth, um, it's quite scary actually. You think they're going to jump on you? They go through these, uh, these few seconds of pure aggression. Sanulok. Bangkok to Pit Sanulok train. Ha! I just love it. Monkeys jumping everywhere here. Monkeys jumping everywhere. Uh, what what have you found? What have you found? You found a Pepsi bottle. Now they cut they cut there's nothing in it. Why are you interested in uh, chewing it? There's just nothing in that Pepsi bottle. No sugary drink, there's nothing in it. I wouldn't bother. Whoa. You know what's going on. Monkeys being aggressive. That's what's going on. Monkey, oh, this is a monkey, official monkey feeding area here. 
You're allowed to feed, feed the monkeys here. For the looks of it. Monkeys feeding area. Sunflower seeds seem to be going down a tree anyway. <laughs> hey mate, you got enough sweet corn there, that's just being greedy. You got three cobs. No, all the others ain't got any. You're just greedy, aren't you? That's just greed. He's drinking, uh, he's opened a sachet of something, this monkey, and he's drinking something. So he's actually like oozing the uh, liquid out. What a place. And you never get to uh, this quite unique place in the world, I'd say, really. Get so close to these monkeys. Um, I mean, when, they, when they're feeding, they're just, they're not, uh, they don't mind you being near you. They're, they're, um, their comfort zone decreases with humans. Just literally almost um, almost touching this monkey he's just not perturbed not perturbed because he's got uh, he's got a source of food next to him very happy ah oh. Now stop that, that was naughty. Monkey just cl climbed on top of me. How low I can get, put the camera here. Get really close to them. Ah, I knew he was going to come on top of me. If you just turn your back for about 10 seconds and not move, they suddenly they're onto you. They're climbing onto you. See, uh, so I'm not looking behind me, but I'm guessing there might be a monkey about to jump onto me.
unbelievable. What a place. Little one there, little one. Look at this one, it's got a food source, big corn cob, so he's keeping out of the way, keeping out of the way of the group, just feeding himself, stuffing himself. get down too low here I know one's gonna jump on top of me but human is smart human has put his back to the main road the human knows that the monkey can't hang around the main road and jump jump on the human from behind because there's traffic Whoa, I didn't even see you up there, on top of the signpost, chomping away. Never get bored of filming these monkeys. Fascinating creatures. This one here climbing the um, level crossing barrier. Stop it. Stop it. No need for that. Ah. 
Ah, you bastard. <laughs> Excuse my language. Excuse me. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Just because your food source is gone. Don't take it out on me because you lost or you've eaten all your food. Just because you've eaten all your food, taking it out on me. over to the uh, temple now, across the road here. Let's walk across the road to the temple. This is where there's a lot of monkeys, even more monkeys in this temple. See a lot of scared tourists. A lot of scared tourists. They've all got been issued with sticks. All been issued with sticks. We got sticks. You haven't, okay? So don't pick on us, humans. We've got sticks. <laughs> You're a brave little thing, aren't you? You need uh, eyes in the back of your head to see these, what they're doing. There's always one behind you about to jump up on you. It could be easy to get too aggressive with, oh, I'm backing off. It could be easy to get really aggressive and, you know, and uh, one could bite you, I suppose. It's easy to lose your temper with them. And they would just retaliate. If you showed a certain amount of aggression, they'd have to retaliate, wouldn't they? Get you get out of the way, you go inside the, the temple, have a quick look around. Prang Sam Yod is the name of the temple. All right, get out of the way. Oh, I'm trying to get past. It's no good showing your teeth. I'm trying to get past. <laughs> Flipping heck. I feel that aggressive. I was just trying to walk past. <laughs> All right, have a look around this temple. They haven't issued me with a stick. 
And that's not very very uh, good. I've got no stick. Just gonna have to look. Uh, just gonna have to lose it. Scream and shout, I think, to get rid of them. So I've got no stick. <laughs> minute they show their teeth, I'm out of here. So this is one of the monkey temples. There's a few in uh, Lockbury. Stop it. Stop. Stop. There's a few in Lockbury. A few monkey temples in Lockbury. Just watch them. Uh... Yeah, this is one monkey temple. This is the main one, but there's uh, you buy the entrance ticket, and that includes entrance to four temples. Absolutely fascinating. Hello, little monkey. What are you after? Look of him, he's a big bugger. <laughs> Gotta watch your back, that's the problem. No, stay. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. Fascinating. Not going to hurt you. Carry on. Right, I'll ca carry on. Uh shooting video but all the time I'm looking behind my back because these uh, these monkeys will jump on top of you when you're not looking they know they know we can't see behind our backs don't you monkeys they're not stupid 
I know I've got a blind spot. Squinting in the sun, aren't you? Squinting. Don't be, feel threatened, it's okay. Not gonna hurt you. Squinting and being lazy, and why not? It's a hot day, I don't blame them. It's nice to meet some monkeys that uh, Hang on, watch this one. One behind me. One behind me, ready to pounce. Hey, I know your trick. <laughs> You're not going to do it. This group here, all huddled together sleeping. Oh, they're just everywhere. It's difficult sometimes you nearly tread on them. Problem is they've got long tails, you see. I'm scared of treading on a tail. Well, that would upset one of them. Don't worry. Don't feel threatened. It's okay. Don't worry. My pen right.
and I'm walking around. There are just so many monkeys here. So many monkeys. Very sleepy monkeys here, very sleepy ones. Trying to escape the heat. I bet a bowl of ice water would go down a tree. So I, uh, it did actually rain about an hour ago. Uh, literally there's a bit of drizzle. But uh, it didn't rain, it, it didn't rain much.
just stand still. Don't, st <laughs> Don't come near me like that. Oh, I see, you're just doing your own thing here. Look like you're about to pounce on top of me then. Is there one behind me? Tell me, you can tell me. Is there a monkey behind me gonna jump on me? Oh, I see, so he's not brave enough, but you are. Hear the uh, announcements in the train station. I came uh, here yesterday on a. I went on a bus to per. Bus from Pattaya to Bangkok, Mo Sheet. Mo Sheet station, bus station. Then I had to wait. I walked over to the minibus bus station there in Mo Sheet. And I waited for a, a minibus to fill up to Lotbury. quite a long journey because it took about one hour and 15 minutes for the bus to Lotbury to fill up. Good time of day to come because it's the hottest time of day and the monkeys are Certainly here, the monkeys are relatively uh, peaceful.
what a place, great place, Lockbury, I like it a lot so far. It's um, totally different to the tourist areas of Bangkok and uh, Bataya. I'll call it a provincial town, sleepy provincial town. This is the main uh, railway line which passes uh, from Bangkok and it goes northwards I believe up to Chiang Mai and beyond even. Uh, Lockbury is also on Route 1 which is the main, uh, one of the, the main highways in Thailand. It runs from Bangkok north to Chiang Mai and then onwards to the Burmese border. Eventually there'll be an expressway running parallel to it which will go from Bangkok to South China running through Laos. That's the uh, long-term economic plan, a direct motorway standard road linking uh, Bang Bangkok to China. Boomer, <laughs> a weapon just in case <laughs> to stop the monkeys. Wow, well, we. You need it, you need it sometimes. I, I, I haven't used, I must admit, I've been, they've been okay with me, the monkeys. All right, I've had no problem. I, I not need stick, but <laughs> maybe because you're shorter. Why, why do you need stick? I, I was okay with no stick. <laughs> I think, uh, to be fair, if the Thai people are smaller, then that's more opportunity for a monkey to jump on top. Oh, she's going inside the uh, temple. Oh, is she? Is it? Is it okay to go inside? You can go inside. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. This is when you're going to probably need the stick. Yeah. Close, yeah. Close the gate, close the... Uh... I'm just following these tourists in the, in the temple. This is maybe why you need the stick. Just follow these two. That's when you come inside. That's when you maybe need the stick. But they I feel safe. You want to come inside, don't you? See, these monkeys want to come inside. But they're not around. Not allowed inside. Naga Buddha. Naga Buddha. Allowed inside the temple, are you, monkey? You want to come inside? And I don't blame them because it's nice and cool in here. I don't blame them for wanting to come inside. Oh, there's a bat. See, bat. Bat. Lots of bats. Bats in here. Oh, hey. See, bats. Bats in here.
black monkeys not allowed in the temple in the inside they want to go inside it's nice and cool cool in here they're not allowed monkeys here desperate to come inside aren't you monkey That's a large Taiwan milk tea from 7-Eleven, it's 45 baht, it's absolutely delicious, it's really nice. Goes down a treat in this hot, humid weather, this is 7-Eleven. BMI scales. Seven Eleven Thailand, one of uh, over three thousand in the country. They're absolutely everywhere, and I mean everywhere. <laughs> Some places like um, bus stations and that have got about five of them. Another day in Thailand and another dog sleeping in the street. Taking it easy. Uh, just to the left of me is Lockbury train station. Nice to be in a really laid back town. Just haven't got the uh, hasn't got the busy busy feel to it. It's got more of a chilled out chilled out feel to it. So that's this the uh, minivan station here. We catch minibuses to Bangkok. Have to wait for the, each minibus to fill up before the minibus lets you go on to the journey. Um, 150 bar, but if you've got luggage you have to pay a, another 150 bar to reserve a seat for your luggage. Just trying to work out where the entrance to the railway station is at the moment. This is Lockbury train station. train stations go it's not that busy a place but it's not that quiet it's not busy I don't know how to describe it it's a small provincial train station so 
a quick read of the uh, information. Large deserted temple, it covers an area of about eight acres. It's got a large prang in the middle of the temple, functioning as the printable part building and chedis that encircle the temple. It's assumed that it must have been built in the 18th to 19th Buddhist century. So that's um, about six to seven hundred years ago, before the kingdom of Ayataya was established. Yeah. This is the tallest uh, temple, I know that, in Lotbury. This is the tallest one. Um, not too many monkeys here though. That's why it's not so much of a tourist draw, because there's no, don't seem to be the number of monkeys as there are at the other one. So I must admit, uh, Lotbury, so far, is a really nice place. It's just so, it's, it's off the beaten tourist track. Just uh, just the lack of tourists alone make it a good place. It really is a, it really is dramatically different from Bangkok and Pattaya. There's just no tourists here. I mean, this is a massive temple complex here, but there's no busloads of uh, tourists and Russians. You've got the whole place to yourself. I would say I haven't been to Angkor Wat for I haven't been to Angkor Wat for 20 years, but um, in some ways this is better than Angkor Wat because there just aren't any tourists. It's great. Yet yeah, this is right in the centre of town. This place it's right opposite the train station in the centre of town. You'd expect there to be just local tourists for a start. Tourist taking a selfie stick. Just ask, just ask. Oh, they'll take the photo for you. You only have to ask. Don't be scared of asking. came to the rescue of a Thai girl with a selfie stick. I said, don't don't be shy. Just ask the Frang. We'll take some, uh, just did a photo shoot next to the temple. Get some good photos. Not sure if she's from Thailand, actually. She, she didn't speak a word of English, she might have been from Korea, I don't know, <laughs> or Japan even. So this is uh, quite a contrast to the temple up the road, there's just no monkeys here. Well no monkeys at the moment anyway. Now the monkeys do wander around town. My hotel is a couple of blocks away, the Net Hotel. And um, cer certainly I do hear, I've, I've been hearing the monkeys fight. Although I've got an air conditioned room with no window up to the outside, you can definitely hear them squawking at night time. So they're around. I do wish I had my drone on me. I do wish I had my drone. Not that I probably wouldn't be allowed to fly it here anyway, over this uh, monument, but um, what a great place. Well, it's a right nice place, Lot Lot Brewery. I really like it. It's a 
definitely place to, it's the place to, I'm going to stay here a couple of days I think. Stay here a couple of days and uh, do some more monkey filming later, tomorrow. quiet and peaceful place. A hanging stone. Hanging stone. Now I presume if I, I can actually move this, this stone of many, uh, yes I can. This stone which probably weighs a ton at least I actually move that with my hand evidence of a bird fight down here Just wondering if this temple's been in any movies or anything. It's sort of a movie location-ish place. You could do a few uh, good shots from within the uh, grounds here. The, um, it's the back of the Buddha here, back of the Buddha, actually face the Buddha, round here. Right, so that was that uh, this temple here. I'm not going to pronounce that in uh, Thai because I get it wrong. Um, but it's a lovely temple that was. Very peaceful and yet near to so uh, so many busy streets. Let's have a walk uh, back to the monkey temple, I think. Back to the monkey feeding station. Just a few random uh, Thai street scenes. They're selling, uh, they're selling their sailors' uniforms here for some reasons. Oh, back in the Monkey District. This is a 7 Eleven coffee, uh, 15 bar, that's about 60p. And I must have spent about 50 pounds on in the last uh, three weeks or so on 7 Eleven coffees. As I'm a bit of a coffee fan. Uh, these are a load of uh, load of fruit stalls, vegetable stalls, and snack stalls over here. It's quite normal in Thailand. Open uh, open all hours. Not open all hours, but uh, open till late in the evening. Most of them. Some of them will be open all hours. Not all of them. And here's the uh, dog, stray dog, in Thailand, being fed. Typical Thailand street scene. People um, giving uh, the dog as a charity thing, giving him uh, leftover food. It's probably leftover food from this restaurant, I guess. 
keeps the dogs fed. He looks healthy enough, he hasn't got any ribs showing. Random Lockbury street scenes. Back in the monkey district again. Alleyway of monkeys. Uh, alleyway of monkeys down here. The man's got his stick available, just in case. Hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Man's got his stick. On. I've got to feel a bit sorry for the people that run run businesses around here because they've got. Uh, oh look, he's getting his stick out. Yeah, because uh, the monkeys the monkeys will uh, go in the shops and get what they can get. So you've got to be on the uh, defensive a lot of the time if you own a shop around this district here near the monkey feeding station. Seem to be much food left at the monkey feeding station. There's no. I don't know why. <laughs> why is he drinking that? There's nothing in it. He's putting his head in a container, but there's nothing. Uh, nothing in it. That's crazy. Uh, uh, me me meow. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Thank you. I just. So this is the tourist draw here, yeah. The tourists paint to feed the monkeys. Well, I must admit, monkey, I like the sweet corn cobs as well. I've been eating a lot of them as well. They're very nice. I've been eating a lot of sweet corn in Thailand. jumped on in a minute, I've got a feeling I am. Can't explain why. go down low they definitely jump on me. It's 
see it's low, low. <laughs> give me a right funny look. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Don't, don't give me that look. Just because I went low, he suddenly got scared. <laughs> he didn't like that. I just showed him my teeth. I said, if you're going to show him, show me your teeth, I'm going to show you t your, my teeth. Monkeys, monkeys everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Aren't you? Yes. Oh! <laughs> monkeys everywhere. If I sat down here on this grass embankment, I don't think that would be a good idea. I think I'd definitely get jumped on. Hello. Hello. How are you? Don't you think about jumping on top of me, matey. And you. you cut it out. Cut it out. I haven't got any food, I'm afraid. But if I had a, corn, a, a cob of sweet corn, it'd be all over me. Stop it. I just love their little uh, movements where they tweak their eyebrows. Oh. That is a cute picture. That is so cute. That's the best picture of uh, video, bit of video I've had so far in Lockbury. That those two monkeys next to each other, cuddling each other. doing here they're digging they like digging the dirt and playing with the dirt I'm not sure what they're doing here what they're after seeds they're after something some seed or something which they can eat this one's doing the same thing and this one's about to pounce on me from behind 
<laughs> I'm getting out of the way. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I can see what you're doing. You're trying to pounce on me. This one's uh, doing some digging. Vandalising the place, basically. Vandalising this lovely embankment. Don't open your mouth and show your teeth like that. I'm not going to hurt you. Promise. I bet I'm going to get pounced on in a minute. I just know it's going to happen in a minute. Because I'm crouching down. Don't be like that. playing with the wheel on the wheelie bin. That's just being rude. No need for that. Stop it, monkey. Right, just walking down here. The monkey sat in the road. Don't know what that's achieving. Just sat in the road. <laughs> it's a stupid place to sit down and eat your food, monkey. Very stupid. The building here has got uh, quite a few monkeys, some on the street and some on the first floor. This alleyway has got quite a few monkeys as well. Let's go and have a look. Cross over. Now that monkey's got a really fat tail. Why is your tail so fat? His tail is ridiculously fat and he looks like his nose has got a problem as well, poor thing. Looks like he's been in the wars a bit, his nose, been, nose has been scratched to bits. Monkeys on top of this building, climbing all over the building. Don't want to keep your windows open during the daytime. Not a good idea, especially if you've got food hanging around the kitchen. 
I should imagine if they got into our flat, they'd uh, absolutely trash the kitchen. Absolutely trash it. One would go in, then about 20, 30, 40 would follow, and your kitchen would be trashed. Uh, this, I mean, this one is switch the water. What he's got probably knows even knows how to switch the water on. Yeah, and a drink out the hydrant. Crazy, crazy place. better move. You're not going to move, you're just going to sit there, aren't you? make that saying you don't like it when I get low do you you don't like me being low you don't mind when I'm taller than you but it's when I'm low that's when you don't like it lots of uh, fresh fruit here look at all this uh, fresh food absolutely everywhere my goodness me fresh fish Busy market, lots of stuff. Food stalls uh, everywhere here. So a quick walk down the uh, fish, the market here. You can see a few. That's a massive market, really big outdoor market. Oh, we eat chilies, everything. Bananas. Um, lots of stuff. What a place. Seven bar lychee bananas. Certainly know how to uh, eat. Look at the state of this pickup truck. Certainly uh, like their food, the ties, and uh, I like the food as well. Right, just crossing the uh, Lockbury River. Oh, what a surprise, there's a dog having a sleep. Didn't expect to see that. <laughs> this is the Lockbury uh, River. I know the town is quite high above the river. That'll be for one simple reason. The river would be subject to flooding. Uh, during the rainy season, it's um, I think about 200, 300 millimeters of rain a month can can rain down on um, 
Thailand. More than that, actually. Yeah. And uh, you can get some terrible flooding in Thailand for sure. So um, it's dry season at the moment. Hence the river's very low, but uh, you can see it uh, has to go up quite a bit before anywhere's in danger for, of floods. Lockbury River. Of uh, monkey graffiti around town and murals. Not really graffiti, is it? It's like a, a street mural. Quite a lot of these around town. So I'm, I'm saying I'm walking down a very traditional Thai high street, actually, I call it. Um, you can see these old sweeping brushes, twig sweeping brushes. They're not made of plastic, made of natural materials. The very old, uh, look at the style of the houses here, wooden houses. Um, it's nice because it's not a tourist place, it's, uh, it's a non-touristy place. Non-touristy, just used by locals. It's not a hipster place. People don't come here for a coffee, uh, writing their travel blogs and stuff like that. It's a nun hipster, traditional Thai high street, full of shops. That's a pet shop. Just like probably Thai people would say, just like Thailand used to be. Because uh, like Thai, Thailand's like many other countries, now they've got these big out of town shopping malls. And um, to be fair, 7-Eleven and the convenience stores have destroyed a lot of the uh, small shops as well. Now in 7-Eleven you can get instant meals, you can get uh, microwave meals, as well as a, well as a host, host of drinks, you can get every drink under the sun. Um, iced coffees, hot coffees, Taiwan teas, Thai teas. 7-Eleven, they've only got to look at how busy they are to realise that they've taken a lot of business away from small shops. So this is a, uh, another bridge in Lockbury. Dry river. Dry season, dry river. Look, it's almost dried up the river. Big Buddha over here. Cross the road and have a look at that. Random street scenes in Lopuri, Thailand. The Chinese temple uh, here with dragons. Big, like totem pole type structure with dragons on. Very good. Buddha statues for sale. Very nice. Policeman looking at the traffic. Oh, we. Anything connected to it, if you want your temple refurbished, and new bells and uh, 
stuff. This is the shop to come to. Look at all these incense sticks for sale. Flower garnishes. Temple shop. For all your temple, Thai Buddhist temple needs. Approaching the monkey temple again. What are you looking like that for, me? Oi, stop that, cut that out. All the monkeys down here. They're like rats. <laughs> monkeys everywhere. Absolutely not. Loads of them. That's nuts. Absolutely crazy. Oh. Because it's food, that's why. Crazy number of monkeys. Absolutely crazy. Crazy, aren't you? Get your green vegetables, eat healthily, hey? Let's go down here. There's even more monkeys down here. We're about one block away from the main temple. My goodness. I think this is coming up to the uh, railway track now. Flipping it. Monkeys everywhere. Hello. Wowee. It's right feeding station for monkeys here. Absolutely crazy. monkeys on this roof. These monkeys live well here, I tell you. Not short of food, are you? They don't. I haven't got any. I'm afraid. Yeah, not short of food in this town. Oh, I like the way he came. <laughs> he slid down that girder like a fireman's pole. That monkey. Let's see if this one does the same. Slides down it. I like it. I like his style. No. No threat. Don't. No threat. Just carry on eating. Don't worry about me. It's okay. Lots and lots of monkeys. Oh, 
my goodness me, look at all this lot crossing the road here. Cars have uh, slowed right down because there's literally getting on for a hundred monkeys crossing the road. What a sight that is. I'll just follow them across the train tracks. Follow them across the road. monkeys crossing the train tracks. I'm going to come past. Do you mind if I come past? I think they do actually. Monkeys everywhere here. My goodness me. Do a quick video of the fire bear which is a brand of uh, drink. Should imagine from Japan, because it says Hokkaido. So it's starting, uh, everyone's starting to come out to eat food. Typical uh, Thai busy town. Busy town full of food stalls. Everyone uh, ordering food. Smell of uh, barbecued meat as ever is uh, lovely in the air just setting off for the um just setting off for the bus the uh, minibus station in anong lopri and uh, from there on, uh, I'm catching the minibus to Bangkok. So this is room 404 of the Net Hotel, which was okay. £12.50, 500 bar a night. Not bad hotel. With cages all around to stop the pesky monkeys coming in.
monkeys.
Bugger. Jumping up on me like that. What are you playing at, hey? What are you playing at? You want some food, don't you? That's why. Jumping up on me like that. <laughs> 